On Monday, a harrowing video emerged from northern Gaza of the immediate aftermath of an Israeli strike on a school in Jabalia, which had been turned into a shelter for displaced civilians. Well, the footage was filmed by a paramedic, the first on the scene, and it showed the pain and the grief and the panic in the minutes after the blast. Now, journalists working for the BBC have found that paramedic. This report is from Jeremy Bowen, and it does show graphic images of the moments after the attack. Israel's offensive in northern Gaza is speeding up. This was a strike on a school used as a shelter east of Gaza City. Israel denies it's implementing the so-called General's Plan to clear the north of civilians. But it looks like that. Local journalists and activists are saying that around 40% of civilians in northern Gaza, over 100,000 people, have been forced out through two corridors opened by the army since the offensive started. <laughs> this woman had to leave her children dead under the rubble in Beit Lachia, now on her own with strangers, destination unknown. Naveen al a paramedic now in Gaza City, is viewing a video she filmed as she tried to treat wounded and dying civilians after the Israelis attacked a UN school used as a shelter in Jabalia. We showed part of it on Monday. Naveen says 10 were killed, including children and many more wounded. She says the army gave them an hour to get out, but the strike came in after only 10 minutes. That's her screaming when she saw a neighbor and two sons, all dead. <laughs> On a stairway, running with blood, Naveen only had dressings to hand out. She was the only medic there. A woman said to her, my children have gone, a son and daughter. We located her in Jabali's Kamal Adwan hospital. I saw my daughter dying with my own eyes. She was dying in front of me. I couldn't stop it. She was my eldest, my whole life. I couldn't save her. I was wounded myself. By God, they have broken our hearts. We are exhausted, emotionally drained. We've lost everything. What crime have the children committed? What have they done? What have we done to deserve this? Naveen says that for more than two weeks they were under attack and she denies Israel's claims that Hamas used civilians as human shields. These were 16 days marked with death, fear and panic. Hamas was not using civilians as human shields. They were protecting us and standing with us. Northern Gaza is virtually cut off from the outside world. As exhausted civilians are forced out, there are reports that the Israeli military has taken control of shelters, housing tens of thousands still there, detaining dozens of young men who've been taken away. Israel doesn't let us in to witness this firsthand. We work with brave Palestinian journalists already in Gaza. In Jabalia, civil defense men work to free a girl called Ghazal. He kept talking to her to keep her conscious and wrote good girl on her arm. Don't be afraid, he said, we're here. But there are many reasons to be afraid. The UN says this is an intensifying nightmare, condemning Israeli attacks on civilians. They dug Azal out of the rubble and took her to hospital, gravely wounded. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, Jerusalem. Jeremy Bowen with that report.